Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you the Radiance combat site, which is another unlisted combat site in the drone lands most commonly, but you can find these scattered around the regions elsewhere as well. So it's pretty simple this one. It's a lot easier to like initially start with than the first one, which I showed you the other day, which was Hierarchy. So on this one, you've just got to burn down to this first acceleration gate and you can just jump straight away. There's no need to kill any of the rats or anything. One of the only reasons we do kill the rats here is because they do web and scram. So obviously the web's going to slow you down so you're not making it to the gate quicker and you need to kill the scrammers or the, the long pointers, whatever they are, to actually be able to activate the acceleration gate. So it's just basically head towards the gate and kill the small stuff at the end of the day. Pretty simple. The the, the frigs die really quick, especially in this fit because it's got a ton of um, application on it as well, which is really nice. And you'll see in the next room as well, it's not too difficult, but it does test the tank a little bit more than the high rocky so you've just got to watch what you're spawning i did um i didn't really have the camera angle set right to show you the correct spawn to kill for the sentient but i can show you a little overlay maybe once we get to that point so yeah my bad for that uh, another thing i've just realized on the fit there you're seeing us switch off my um interdiction nullifier unit so basically when that's active you're going to have like tons of debuffs so you've got like a crazy lock time and uh, you've got a short range of lock and all that sort of stuff so really i should have refitted with my mobile depot which i carry around with us with this fit and uh, that should have been a salvager so we're actually going to miss a bit on the loot but this run went quite smooth and that's why i'm just including it the other one wasn't really it was using the old fit as well so i just thought i'd keep the fits uniform for you guys and we'll go over that in part four of the series Alright guys, we're just going to speed this up a tiny little bit more. So we're at 50% speed now. Well, plus 50% speed I should say. So basically what you want to do when you land, you can see those silos in the background just above where my ship is. And there's also a sentry gun. Now the sentry gun's a good anchor point and as you get closer to these silos, more stuff's going to spawn. So when we get a little bit closer, there's going to be a spawn on the opposite side of the ruined station thing where we are here. And they're the guys you need to kill to actually get the sentient battleship to spawn. As well as the other battleships as well so it's a good uh, way to blitz it you can see the overview is filling up right now so we we do get webbed and scrammed on this so obviously focus those guys first and pretty much as you're heading towards the gun or the silos that's a, a good tack to do so there's battleships already spawning in there by the look of it or is that cruisers i really can't see because of the um the the poor preview here i've got it on fast right so you can see it is filling up quite a lot. I did take the drugs there and this does, I feel like this room does a lot more damage um, than the high rocky side because you, you're pretty much compact in. There's not stuff spawning like miles away. So I would say it's all like within 20 and you can see like a bunch of those cruisers like sitting right on top of us. But the tank seems to be holding pretty much fine. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just business as usual. Just kill all the things, get the battleship to spawn. And unfortunately, like I said at the start there, we don't have a salvager. I did notice that actually when I was doing the run, um, right at the start, but I didn't really want to go and refit just for the sake of like recording the video or whatnot. But yeah, pretty, pretty cinch really. It's once, like I say, once you understand the mechanics of how things work, you can uh, pretty much blitz them. But again, if you're doing this for the first time yourself, I mean, you can go in the room and clear everything. If you're a little bit skeptical about your tank or whatever, or you're using like not a tech three ship, like a Stratios or something, they can do these pretty well. Just, um, I mean, even for this fit, you can like actually tank it up a lot more for that, like this specific rat type uh, being the drones. But the fit we do use when I eat into null sec using the filaments, it is good for like all regions. So we've got a bit of buffer from the LSE, the invul, and what's really cool about the the Mimitar, especially the Tech Freeze, you've got a like, it's a it's a really good uniform shield resistance to start with. So it's um, pretty nice on the tank versus like the Tengu where you've got like zero AM. So happy days. The Sentient Battleship's now spawned. 
So we're gonna kill him once we notice him. I didn't think I noticed him right at the start. There he is. So yeah, we'll just get that good ammo loaded and we'll approach him and we'll kill him and see what the, the loot gets. So in the comments from the last video, the, the hierarchy, uh, it was confirmed that the loot values went right down, but there are still little fun sight to do. And like I say, if you're just practicing like you eat sentinel and you end up with drone space, like why not do these? And that's pretty much the site done. We're killing the sentient battleship right now. See what Ludi gets. Obviously rip salvage. But yeah, I had uh, a lot of fun running these sites. I've done them a few times each now. And there's really like not a lot of guides on how we do these pretty much. I think Urschlag's probably got the best ones because there's like no fluff. You know, there's no like talking unnecessarily like I'm doing right now. He's just like straight to the point. So that's what Urs does well. He's uh, pretty good. Definitely check him out. He streams quite a lot as well. So yeah, those um, those guides are done. The next up, we're going to be doing the escalation we actually got from these sites, which is, it involves a lot of warping around, but every time you you get to the, the escalation site, this is sentient battleship, so obviously the chance to get the loot. So I'm looking forward to showing you that in part three of this Droneland series. Uh, I would like to say a massive thanks for all the support from the last video as well. Um, really still in love in the Space Mouse. And doing the little cinematics, you know, it feels like old school Zach's back doing what I do best pretty much. And hopefully it'll just get better going forward because of uh, more practice and things. But yeah, that's the site done guys. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in part three.